So supply chain resiliency in the auto manufacturing sector, and frankly in all manufacturing sectors, is something that has really become um, a matter of localization in the past couple of years. And I think that a lot of those things started within the Trump administration. The renegotiation of NAFTA, which is now the USMCA or Kuzma or TMAC, depending on what country you're in, requires a much higher level of regional value content than the original NAFTA agreement. Um, that combined with the managed trade aspects of other uh, free trade agreements as they're being negotiated globally has really forced automakers to determine what their localized supply chain looks like. And at the same time that the Trump administration was undergoing this renegotiation, the auto sector was undergoing a massive transformation. And so we've moved from making internal combustion engines into electric vehicles. We've had to rethink the supply chain from initial inputs all the way through to the final, final consumer product. That requires us now to determine how to find ethical, sustainable, efficient inputs. And those inputs are much easier to manage and there, there's a lot more transparency if we do that locally. So you see right now the major OEMs looking for sources of even uh, battery raw materials locally within North America, but also maintaining an Asia presence if they have um, an Asia market and a European presence if they've got a European market that they're trying to that they're trying to cater to. If you want to read more about this, I've written a brief and it is on the CGI webpage.